Obviously, um, I don't blame you for hating me. Dixie, I don't hate you. Oh, really? You're happy that I've broken up for marriage? Brooke is one of my closest friends, and I don't like what has happened to her one bit. But I don't hate you. What I hate is having to sit around here watching everybody suffer. And that includes you. I never meant for this to happen, okay? I had no idea that she would react this way. None of us did. Ted and I never meant to hurt her. Really, we wanted to make it as easy as possible on her, especially on Brooke. Just hope they find her, you know, and get her to a hospital in time. Well, that's what we're all praying for. If they do, Livia, I swear to you, I'm going to make it up to her. I don't know how, but I will. I'll just do anything. Dixie, you didn't cause this crisis. And I hate to have to say it, but Brooke brought this one on herself. This will keep you warm. <laughs> you look a little peaked. Oh, I'm fine. Did I hear you talking to someone? Oh, I, I, I made a call. Um... Let me reimburse you. Oh, nonsense. Did you get through? Yeah, yeah. Made you feel better? Yeah. I knew it would. Sometimes the right word from someone you trust does the trick. Now, I better get out to the barn. Make sure Norbert isn't giving your son half our animals as pets. Take you away from me. I don't care how many people turn against us. You have your whole life ahead of you. And it's going to be perfect wherever we are. We just need some rest. every step of the way to make sure that you came into this world. And look at you. You're my gift. You're so perfect. I love you so much. It was all worth it. They were all so wrong. I couldn't ask for more. We're gonna make it. I'll figure out a way. I'll figure out a way for all three of us. That's the first promise that I make to you, honey. And your mommy's gonna keep it. Was a woman with a small boy sitting here. People have been getting on and off the train since Center City. She had kind of short strawberry blonde hair, big blue eyes. You couldn't miss her if you saw her. This is very important. 
Why are you after her? She's my wife. No. She was very clear about that. Her husband's dead. So you have seen her? I saw a nice woman with a beautiful little boy. Why do you want to make trouble for him? We're trying to prevent trouble. That little boy is my son. His name is Jamie. And what are you doing running around with helicopters stopping trains? You want to scare that little boy half to death? No. No, it's the last thing I want to do. That's why I came in person. Leave the woman alone. Listen to me. I don't much care what you think about me or how I got here. That woman is sick. Very sick. If she doesn't get immediate medical attention, there's a good chance she's going to die. This isn't about revenge. I'm not trying to take that little boy away from her. I'm trying to save her life. It's true, man. My wife... My wife is furious with me. That's why she would say something like I was dead. That's not important right now. The only thing that's important is that we get her to a hospital. And what is it? You, uh, you want money? No, no. Listen. I'm begging you. If you have the slightest idea where they got off this train, for God's sake, help us to save her life. Edmund? Uh, Jamie? Uh, Mrs. Allen? come here to moralize? I came to see Junior. I assumed it... You assumed what? Well, that you came to blame me for what's happening to Brooke. Brooke? This is about Brooke? What's happened to Brooke? She's pregnant. Dixie, there's no way you could be to blame for that. Uh, pregnancy is tubal, ectopic. The baby isn't sitting in the right place, it has no chance for survival. Pregnancy has to be terminated. Oh. Fuck. I'm so sorry. Well, what's worse is that Brooke hasn't accepted what the doctors have told her, and she's taken Jamie and disappeared. If she doesn't get medical medical help soon, she could die. Well, well, let me help. One call, a fleet of private detectives will track her down. Well, thanks, Adam, but Ted's already on that. Oh. And Tom are looking for her now. Had the police been notified? Derek Fry is with them. I just wish I could be. I'm going bananas, waiting around to hear if they found her, if she's okay. Well, I still don't understand one thing. Why do you think I would blame you for this? Tad is obviously the one at fault here. Now, don't you blame Tad for this. But it's his baby, isn't it? No. Well, yes, but I'm the reason that Brooke's life is such a mess. She may die because of me. Hi, Jeff. Whatever for? The men at the door. They're looking for me. One of the men is my husband. He's going to take my son away from me. I can't let him do that. You mustn't let them know that I am here. Tad hates me. If, if he gets my son away from me, I will never see him again. Please. Please, you have to help me. Help me hide. Please. Please. All please. right. Go upstairs and be quiet. I'll handle the rest. <coughs> <clears throat> isn't it kind of cold for a social visit? Oh, this isn't a social visit, ma'am. This is official police business. I'm Detective Derek Fry of the Pine Valley Police Department. What can I do for you? Well, we're looking for a woman and a little boy. Now, the woman is slim. She's about five foot two. She has reddish blonde hair. She's well-dressed. 
We believe that she's traveling on foot with this little boy. In this weather? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now, we believe that she's in the area. Now, have you seen anybody matching this description? Who died and made you the center of the universe? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen to yourself. You talk as if you're responsible for every horrible thing that's happened down through the ages. No, just every horrible thing that's ever happened to Brooke. Why are you to blame because we, Brooke won't seek medical assistance? This operation that she has to have, it could prevent her from ever having children again. Now you know that a drunk driver took Laura away from her and now Tad has custody of Jamie. She thinks that this baby is all she has left. That doesn't explain why you're responsible for her tubal pregnancy. I know I'm not responsible for that, Adam, but I'm very responsible for the way that she's reacting to it. If I hadn't been so selfish, she and Tad might still be together. Oh, now she, she, she reads the future. <laughs> that's, that's the way things might have been, all right? But we'll never know, now will we? Because I just had to have Tad just the way I had to have you. Now, wait just a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If, if you think that you are responsible for taking me away from Brooke, then you're giving yourself a whole lot more credit than you deserve. Well, that's the way I remember it. Well, then let me refresh your memory. For the record, I lied to Brooke. She found out, she got mad, I got roaring drunk and seduced you. You, you were no more responsible for what happened in that boathouse than the bottle of bourbon was. You were young, and you were naive, and you... you bought my routine. You never meant to hurt Brooke. But I did. It doesn't matter whether or not I meant to hurt her. You didn't mean to hurt her then, and you don't mean to hurt her now. But I have. I've hurt her so much, I don't know how she's ever going to be able to forgive me. This is the boy's father. I'm sorry I haven't seen a woman following that description with a child. Perhaps you've seen the woman without the boy. No, I'm sorry. What's the woman done? Is she, uh... Well, has she committed a crime? She defied a court order granting Mr. Martin temporary custody of their son. But that's not the reason we're here. We just want to make sure that Jamie and Brooke are all right. We want to help them if we can. She's... she's... she's confused. She's not thinking clearly. To tell you the truth, we're... we're a little frightened for her. Are you sure you haven't seen this woman? I mean, maybe you noticed her in town or at the market. Well, I haven't been in town in nearly a week. Besides, I would have remembered a pretty woman like this. Are you sure they were on foot? Positive. We talked to the conductor of the train that they took from Pine Valley. Well, maybe they hitched a ride with somebody. Can you think of anybody that might have given them a ride? Well, I can't think of anybody who wouldn't. This is... Folks around here are real friendly. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Martin? Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to be of more help, but I gotta get back to my chores. I understand. Look, if you see her, or if you remember seeing her, please, please contact your local sheriff's office. I surely will. Thank you. Mrs. Allen, if you do run into her, she won't admit this, but she's very sick. She desperately needs to see a doctor, and if she doesn't, there's a good chance she's gonna die. What's wrong with her? Just tell her if you see her. It's for her own good, honestly. I will, I promise. Thank you for your time. Ed. Mrs. Allen, you were so wonderful. I don't know how I can ever thank you for... Be honest. Are you telling me the truth? Are you ill? Are you trying to steal that man's child? 